So there are a variety of agents used in the treatment of metastatic breast cancer that target the microtubules, either in the polymerization of the microtubules and creating the mitotic spindle, or in depolymerization resulting in uh, the formation of two daughter cells from the cancer cell. Uh, the agents, uh, the apothalones and the taxanes, tend to inhibit the depolymerization, whereas aribulin and uh, venerelbine tend to inhibit polymerization. Uh, I absolutely take into consideration the mechanism of action, but importantly, I also have to take into consideration the other comorbidities, medical comorbidities that patients may have. The primary toxicities of these agents tends to be neuropathy, alopecia, fatigue, some cytopenias, but neuropathy can be one of those quality of life affecting side effects. So, so in any patient with a pre-existing neuropathy, I tend to steer away from some of these agents. Aribulin is a microtubule inhibitor that is approved in the United States for treatment of metastatic breast cancer after two prior lines of treatment in patients who have received a prior taxane and a prior anthracycline. This approval was based on two clinical trials, two randomized clinical trials. The first was EMBRACE, um, in which patients uh, who had received two to five prior lines of therapy were randomized either to receive aribulin or treating physician's choice. And in that study, there was an improvement in overall survival in those patients receiving aribulin. This study was followed up by study 301, in which women with zero to two prior lines of therapy in a metastatic setting were treated either with aribulin or capecitabine. In this study, however, there was no difference in overall survival. But based on the EMBRACE trial, aribulin received its FDA approval. I use aribulin a lot in my practice. I tend to follow the FDA guidelines. However, in women who have had a lot of prior therapy, for example, in the neoadjuvant or adjuvant setting, they've received an anthracycline and a taxane. I might use it earlier. I might use it first line. I might use it second line. Of course, this is a very patient-specific decision.